Short Box Nation. I am standing here next to Tom Vleshiha, a.k.a. Jock and Hagar from Game of Thrones. Tom, how are you doing today? I'm very well. Thank you. Awesome. How are you enjoying CollectiveCon? It's great. You know, I'm, I've, uh, I always like doing conventions because you get some feedback from fans, okay. which as an actor you don't very often get uh, normally, but Game of Thrones, it's an exception. Have you noticed um, a, a change in the energy or just the excitement with the new season having started last week? Or is it yeah, always just kind of no, crazy? No, no, definitely. I mean, but it's the hype's gotten bigger with every season, and it's it's really uh, it, it, it's never been as big as now. Yeah. Do you watch it more or less now that your character is it primarily in the show? What do you mean? Well, I mean, do you watch it more or less since the? I mean, I think the last time we saw your character was uh, season six. Yeah. Can we expect to see Jock and make an appearance this season? A man does not know that, but... Uh, <laughs> smooth, smooth. <laughs> no spoilers. Uh, no, but of course I'm watching it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you do any special, like, watch parties or traditions? Do you go out to watch it? Are you watching it with friends and family? No, I don't have, I, I don't have that much time, actually. I mean, I, I wish I could watch it with friends, but uh, since I'm traveling most of the time, I always watch it in between whenever I have a moment. Yeah, yeah. I imagine you're, you're pretty, probably really, really busy. So... This, your character, Jockin, what do you think specifically it is about the character that fans resonate with it so much? I mean, he's a very calm, stoic guy. I mean, are you like that in real life? Do you see yourself in Jockin no. a lot? Huh. <laughs> no. Um, well, I think, I mean, all the characters in, in Game of Thrones are really well written and they have, uh, they're very ambivalent um, and have different sides to them. And I think uh, a character should always have a secret. Mm. And uh, that's what makes makes the character interesting f for the audience, you know, and then keeps them on the edge of their seats, and yeah. uh, so they want to more, more, know more about him. Um, and Jack and Agarius is this weird way of speaking as well, uh, so that adds to the appeal, I think. He's probably the smoothest character on Game of Thrones. Yeah, I mean, I, I never do my killings on screen. It's always like uh, <laughs> it's in a secret, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what is probably the craziest, uh, I guess, thing anyone's ever tried to do to get spoilers out of you? Have you ever been bribed for spoilers? I'm sure that that's something that you're always getting asked. Uh, how much are you offering? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Now, I, I'm sure that you've probably seen all of the the numerous uh, fan theories and just uh, everyone kind of guessing what happens at the end. I mean, is there? Do you have a favorite theory that's floating out there? Are you on the internet or YouTube looking up theories as well? Uh, yeah, sometimes. But I mean, I, did, I mean, it would be. I, I don't have that much time to, to. I mean, it could be 24 hours in front of a screen uh, uh, looking for theories, and I mean, fans are so so much into the show. Mm -hmm. There's so many theories about uh, about every character. I mean. Well, like one of the my, my favorite theories is that um, Miltos um, and me are the same person. Yes, that one is uh, really good. So that one is awesome. yeah, I don't think so. But uh, <laughs> do you have a standout or just a favorite memory from just your time filming with the cast full time and just being out there? Uh, maybe a, a lot more. Yeah, I mean, it was really a, uh, an amazing experience because uh, we got to work with like the best people in their respective fields. I mean, everything about this show was so, so perfect. I mean, stage design, costumes, uh, people behind the camera. Um, so that it, it, it really was a gift for all of us. Did you have a favorite uh, stage or, or set design? Yeah, it would have to be the House of Black and White. Mm. Because when I first read yeah. the scripts, I thought, uh, okay, there's going to be a lot of CGI and mm -hmm. they're going to do everything on the computer and then I, uh, I walked uh, onto the stage in, in, in Belfast and they had actually built the whole thing. I mean, every single column that you see, wow. like all the faces are actually there. Um, they, I think the only thing that was done after, after shooting was like they, they, they doubled it in height, uh, the rooms. But apart from that, everything was there. And uh, it, it, that's, that's great for an actor because if you have like uh, such perfect surroundings, hmm. um, you kind of feel thrown into this other world and it makes, makes acting so much easier. Wow, incredible. You mentioned spending a lot of time just being busy. It, it sounds like you've got some other projects in the works. I mean, can you talk about what you're working on and where can people find yeah, you? Yeah, I, I finished shooting the uh, second season of Jack Ryan uh, oh, nice. a, a few months ago. Awesome. Uh, it's going to come out in, in summer sometime. 
I think. And at the moment, I'm filming Das Boot. Uh, it's a German series. Uh, there, there was a very iconic movie in the 80s, um, the same name. Um, it's about uh, submarine warfare in the Second World War. Cool. And so we started shooting that in France last month. And then when I get back to Germany, I'm going to continue. Fantastic. Well, look, thank you so much, Tom, for your time. Thank you very uh, much. Thanks for coming out. Enjoy the rest of your Collect the Con weekend.